Hello everyone, it's Lurks here. Welcome to my channel and today how to replace the number plate bulb on your Vespa GTS. If you're going to be working on the Vespa, make sure you've got a lovely cup of tea. This is the Vespa GTS model here and this is actually a Vespa GTS 300 and there's a link above now about seven things that I love about my Vespa GTS 300. It's definitely worth checking out that video. Okay, so the bulb that we're going to be replacing is the number plate bulb, which is the lower bulb here in the rear bulb housing which shines on your number plate. If you're lucky enough to have the original toolkit in your Vespa GTS, then you'll be needing the Torx Allen key, also known as the tamper-proof bit. But I'm actually going to use my own version just because it's easier. And you're also going to need your brand new bulb, and this is a capless bulb, which is a 12 volt, 5 watt, and it's clear glass. Okay, now what we need to do is remove the rear bulb housing, and that is where you use your Torx Allen key. So just put that in there and turn it anti-clockwise to remove. And there's a link above now about how to replace the rear indicator bulb on your Vespa GTS. Okay, once you've removed that, then what you're doing is you're pulling the bulb housing downwards and then pulling it out, but don't just yank it out because it's plugged in. So just be very careful, just give it a wiggle and then pull it downwards. And there we go. So just turn it around gently. And you can see on the top there, you've got those two divots and they sit just underneath the chassis there. And that's what holds it in with that torque screw. And there's a link above now about the five things that I hate about my Vespa GTS 300. It's definitely worth checking out that video if you're thinking of buying a second hand one. And the number plate bulb is the bottom bulb in the housing. So what we need to do first is just unplug the connector just so we can just lay the whole bulb housing on the floor. You don't actually need to do this, it just makes it a little bit easier. So just push the button at the top there and then it should just slide out. And there we go. So just lay it down on a cloth. Don't lay it down on the concrete because you'll scratch it. And then we can remove the bulb. As I said earlier, the number plate bulb is the bottom bulb in this housing. And it's just in a rubber housing. It's not a screw fit or anything. So all you do is literally just grip it with your fingers, give it a wiggle, and then just start pulling it out. It's got some ribs on the rubber just to hold it in. And there we go, it's already out. And then to remove the capless bulb, you literally just pull it out. Again, this isn't a screw thread or anything. You just literally just pull it out of the housing. And there we go. And there's a link above now about how to replace the front indicator bulb on your Vespa GTS. So take your new bulb, make sure it's the correct one. It's a 12 volt, five watt capless bulb and then just push it in. There we go, that's in nice and tight. And then to get it back into the housing, just push it in and just keep wiggling it. As I said earlier, it's got some slight ribs on it. But just keep wiggling it about and pushing it in until it goes all the way home. There we go. Right, so just plug the connector back in can only go in one way, you can't get it the wrong way around. Once you've done that, then what you're doing is those two divots at the top, you're lining those up with those holes in the chassis and just pushing it upwards. So just push it in lower and then slide it up and give it a bit of a bit of a tap at the bottom. Once you've done that and it's nice and secure, you can just get that bolt in. As with any bolts, always do it by hand first. And then once you're happy it's on the thread, you can then tighten it up with your Allen key. And there's a link above now about the fuse box location and how to check the fuses on your Vespa GTS. Don't over tighten this bulb housing, you don't want to damage it. Okay, so let's turn the ignition on and then test it out. Absolutely perfect. If this bulb isn't working, it is an MOT failure, so it is important to have this bulb working. 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here for more how to's, helpful tips and life hacks. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.